guys welcome to a brand new video first I just want to say I apologize I haven't uploaded in a while uh, when I started uh, making these YouTube videos I was in the process of moving out of my old house into a new house and the new house is a fixer-upper you know so uh, once we moved in you know I started you know working with the house and stuff like that and I just got real busy and then I started working on my old lady's Camaro she has a third gen Camaro it's at 92 I'm doing an LT1 swap on that so you know I just got real busy and tied up with that so apologize but now i'm gonna start making my videos again and stay on top of it also my last video i did say once i reached 100 subscribers which i'm at 103 right now which is freaking awesome thank you uh i will be doing a tool giveaway so i am gonna be still doing that uh, i just need to figure out what tool and uh how to get that all set up so so stay tuned for that um I'm not gonna not do it. i'm gonna do it okay so today, today's episode really just, you know, kind of want to tell you about what my what my plans are for the channel. So I'm still going to be doing tool reviews and um, new tools I buy, you know, not necessarily like like this one. It's not really a review of the tools I have, just mainly what I got. And in the future, after I'm using them and stuff, I'll do a review over it. I uh, got a lot of people, you know, saying my, my other videos doesn't really show uh, use of the tools, you know. So I'm going to start implementing that in, in my coming videos and stuff like that. Also, I'm going to be doing the how-to videos. Uh, if I do a side job or anything, uh, I'm going to record and show you how I did those and upload those as well. Um, also, cars. I'm going to be posting videos of cars. Uh, I have a lot of friends with badass cars, nice and everything. So, I'll be posting, you know, just little three, four-minute videos of those and, and what they did to them, stuff like that. So, with that being said... Let's start off with my first new tool, my Snap-on Ratchet, part number FHX80A. It's the cushion grip, 82 flex head ratchet. Now, the reason I bought this was because I had a Matco flex head, low profile, had it for about a year. That thing was 150 bucks and about a year it was already giving me problems uh be ratcheting and then you know i'm going fast and then it stopped and it would switch up and start going the other direction and i don't know why i started doing that and i don't have a i no longer had a maco dealer so i couldn't get fixed and i probably could have shipped it out but it's just too much of a hassle so i traded it into my snap-on dealer and i got this this is also 150 bucks so he gave me 60 for the ratchet, you do the math. So that's why I'm gonna have to pay for this one. Not too much, still a good deal. Still gotta get used to the cushion grip. Uh, not not really too big fan of their locking mechanism. I actually prefer the way Mako has theirs designed. Uh, you can push this knob down, this little selector switch, push it to the side. It allows you to you know swivel the ratchet to your needs, but I feel like, you know, if you're ratcheting something and something hits, it's gonna lock up on you. And that just can probably be a real pain in the ass. It is a nice design though, but I preferred the other method. So, I mean, to each his own. <clears throat> the other tool I bought was from, other two tools I bought were from Amazon. I bought 11 piece stubby combo wrench set from Sun X, part number 9930. And it goes from a 3H, that's the standard. 3 eighths all the way up to a one inch. So pretty nice little ratchet. The uh, very nice chrome with a 12, you know, just your regular stubby combination wrench. Uh, they have the Sun X uh, laser printed on them with each individual part number. So you can get them individually, whatever. Comes with a little rope pouch. So it's nice, 30 bucks, can't beat it, lifetime warranty. Uh, just might be a problem with warrantying them once over the phone or anything like that. But I'll, let me use them a little bit and I'll give you a better, you know, review of them. I just kind of want to show what I got. The other thing that I bought was a four piece ball peen hammer set from Tekton for 20 bucks. I got the eight ounce, you know, fiberglass core uh, ball peen hammers. It came with a 12 ounce, 16 ounce, and a 24 ounce. Now, the part number for that set is, let me check real quick, Tekton 30409. Now, I probably don't really need all four of these hammers. I really only probably need the 8-ounce and the 24-ounce. 
but each hammer individually is about 10 to 15 bucks so for all four for 20 dollars you can't beat it so i got those two for 50 bucks off of amazon it's pretty much a steal you now so but that's honestly all i have for this video guys um i hope hope you liked it. if you didn't you know let me know in the comments uh, i know it wasn't really too much but i just wanted to get a video out there you know new tools i'm gonna use them uh, re really not sure how good these ball peen hammers are gonna be i mean it's 20 bucks but i'm gonna start using them for you know knocking out tie rods and ball drums wherever i can use it for i'm i'm gonna use i'm really put used to them and give a better review same with the the wrenches and of course the ratchet but this is mainly just an episode of the new tools uh if you want to see what i do at work uh i usually post on my instagram of uh, the the jobs that i'm getting in like, you can follow me at it's Dizini. Follow me there to see what I do on the daily at, at my shop. So other than that, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of the plans or what you're looking forward to seeing. Um, hopefully in the next video, I'll have all the full details about that tool giveaway. All right. Thanks for watching.